Hey folks, long time no see. Uh, so I'm gonna see if I can't get this thing working tonight. Uh, I did finally start working on it again. Uh, you know when you just, you, you look at something, uh, there's all these tables, all these charts, graphs, whatever. You just look at the numbers and they just mean nothing to you. They're hieroglyphics. Well, yeah, every time I looked at the uh, schematics for this thing, that's pretty much what I saw. Let me show you what I'm working on here. So I'm going to scoot that out of the way here. Um, of course, I could just screen capture and then overlay or something, but that's effort. I don't want to do that. Um, I just want to record this and upload it and get it done. So this is Sani's schematic here. He has this uploaded on his website. Um, super helpful, but let me zoom in on the part where I found the issue here. Now, this might not mean a whole lot to you, but let's look at this left side here. See how at the top, going from the bottom, you have PL1 or PL3, PL1, so on and so forth. Look at pin number 15 here. We have ADC1, and then pin whatever 20 over here, we also have ADC1. So we have two ADC1s, correct? No. That's ADC11. You just can't see it because the one's behind the red. Uh, of course, it's quite a bit more obvious on my tablet screen here. I can actually see that there's a 1 there. Um, but you can see ADC 15 and 13 also have the same issue. I just, I must have like conked out when I was working on the schematic because I did the exact same thing. Um, anyway, I decided this weekend that I was going to work on the Super Nintendo adapter for my cart reader. And while I was working on that, I made some custom symbols so I could just copy this and, and try and retranslate everything, figure out where my error was. And I did, and we got, get my mouse here, because this is difficult to navigate with a touch screen. So this is what we have. This right here, that pin was set to A1 instead of A11, uh, which means it's shorting against this pin here, which is not good. So we need to, I'm basically just going to cut the traces on pin 15 over here and then manually wire that to A11 on the uh, adapter here, or wherever the hell that is. Doesn't matter, that looks nothing like, I'll bring up the PCB view in a second. Uh, but I also need to make sure that when I cut the traces to A11, I don't also end up cutting off A1 here. So let me bring up the PCB, and uh, nice thing about a tablet here. Uh, oh, except that doesn't work that well because I still am using my mouse. Uh, let me zoom in on this, and you can see here on the leftmost adapter, we have, shoot, I already forgot what pin it is. So we're looking for pin 15 or ADC 11, whatever it says. And this is the updated PCB, not the original. I uh, thought I had it backed up, but I was clearly mistaken. Uh, but it doesn't matter. It was broken anyway. So it's fifth from the bottom. I'm going to set that aside for now. And we'll come back to that turn my lights on so I can see better. Okay, so that is fifth pin from the top here. It looks like I have a trace on the top and on the bottom. So I need to cut two traces. Let me get a multimeter. Oh, what the hell? How did that get? Found it. Just kidding. All right. So, I labeled these down here to make my life easier. This is A1. I'm super glad I labeled them now. And we can see that that is connected right there. So I need to cut that trace. And then it looks like there's a trace on top I also need to cut. I'm just going to move my schematic so I can find it. Bear with me just a second here. Alright, 
So that's a third from the bottom inside pin, this one right here. Yep. So these two are shorted together when they should not be. I just wanted to verify that because I'm going to cut one trace at a time. One, two, three, four, five. Just a little bit of delicate surgery. Don't worry, I'm a professional. I'm just making sure that I definitely separate that trace. And luckily there's enough room that I'm not too worried about cutting that off. So now this should be separated from here. And indeed it is. So I need to solder a bodge wire from here to there. But I also need to make sure this is separated from this, which it is not. So I'm going to flip it over. And one, two, three, four, five. Gonna cut that trace. I'm pretty sure that's the right trace, which is why I am, uh, which is why I would have liked to have the uh, old PCB. But I'm just gonna take a big old gouge out of this thing, make sure that it is absolutely not gonna short. In fact, I was tempted to hit it with the Dremel, but I decided that that would be complete overkill. Alright, and now, this pin and this pin should be separated, but I don't think that connects to that still. Nope. So, two bodge wires. Easy enough. I figured that would be the case. Let's use red. Ooh. So, and if this works, I'll go ahead and update or upload, I guess, the revised PCB that is untested, but should still work fine. But to be honest, I'm probably not even going to order updated PCBs if this works fine. I mean, for myself at least. Because I only ever... Why is this not working? There we go. I typically only ever build stuff like this for myself anyway. I'm just sharing the files because I figure that's the kind thing to do. Get some fresh solder on that bad boy. And A11 down here. This trace, or trace, wire is entirely too long. I don't want to short it on anything. Okay, A11. Now I'll just like tape that down or something. Then, one more. There's my wire. And I think it was the third one now. So the problem, why it wasn't working last time, specifically is 
that I had two data lines shorted together and one of them not even connected. Let's double check it's the third one up. Yeah. So by cutting these traces, I have disconnected the short. Oh, are you kidding me? Moron. Okay. <laughs> Hang on. I think I can salvage this. Without getting more wire. Yeah, I think we'll be good. So, I think that should be it. Let's try it out. I'm going to kill these lights again. So this is the original reader here, the actual Sani one. You can see I've got a chip in there. I don't know how well you can read that, but that's an MBM 29FO33C chip. And it is loaded up in the Super Nintendo adapter. But I'm going to unplug that. And because I only have one SD card, well, I have plenty of SD cards. I just only have the one formatted. No, oh, this one doesn't work well. This adapter board fits this reader better. Oh, sorry, out of focus. Because uh, this one, I was a, I actually trimmed the wires to be as long as they needed to be, and this is the first one I built. And the wires are all over the place. Anyway, should still be fine. They're wired the same, and they have the same firmware. Pop that on there. It is set to 5 volts. Let's boot it up and try it out. Let's focus on that. Maybe. There we go. Add-ons flash ROM adapter, quote unquote, 8-bit flash adapter, oh, it's still not recognizing it. I don't think the thing moved. Ninety ninety. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to lie, this is super disappointing. Um, just in case, though, we're going to try another chip. We're going to try an AM29FO60. No. These are my D chips. I want to try my B chips. This reader is modified to work with the D chips, but well, at least the firmware is, but I don't know if I actually updated this one. Okay. That is also a D. That one's a B. Some of the pins are a little bit mashed up, but let's see, that should be fine. I don't see how that would affect anything. Add-ons, flash ROM, 8-bit, 9090. Hmm. Oops. Maybe I should try one of the D's, because it'll at least give me an ID. You know what? Hang on. Let's 
just in case. Because it doesn't actually fit flush on that reader. I should have double checked that with the uh, multimeter. Ninety ninety. Hmm. Something still funky. Let's unplug this and check my wire. I might have missed a trace or something. There we go. Let's double check that's in focus. Or, it's not that simple, is it? I think there's a short. Obviously, that's not going to be connected anymore, but it is connected to that. That's not connected, but it is connected to that. Did I solder the right trace? A1 is this one here. Is what I soldered. A11 is this one here, which is what I thought I soldered. Hmm. See, I might have cut something else when I cut that. No, that shouldn't be how that works. I mean, it might be, but it certainly shouldn't be. Okay. Just one last check. Five, three, no shorts. Well, shoot. I'm at a loss. I have no idea why it's still not working. That is the correct orientation. Pretty sure. Oh, that's not the one I want to use. the battery connector on this one sticks up. Sorry, not really important. The battery on this one's kind of loose though. Okay. GBC's 5 volt on. Add-ons, flash ROM. See, that's not right. Try this thing again. If I can get it in here. all the pins adjust when I boot it up. 90-90. Hmm. I think there's still a short somewhere. Well, 
Let's just to humor me. Try it one more time in here. Oh, see, that says ninety ninety two. Well, in that case, it might not be busted. These TSOP adapters are just not the greatest. At least it's not 90-90. Might have to pause a bit while I uh, get a known working flash chip. Damn it. Yeah. I'm going to get this thing working again. I'll be right back. All right. Last try. I got... I messed around with this enough. On my fifth chip, I finally got one working. This is another MBM 29FO33C chip, uh, but I know this is supported on all, all my readers, so should be fine. Uh, the only, and it is actually detecting in this one right now, uh, so I can uh, erase it if I want. Um, only problem is this is a TSOP40 chip in a TSOP48 adapter, which means that I had to center it and it's pain in the arse, but it's okay. Um, kind of thought that would have been done by now, else I wouldn't have started it. There it goes. Okay. So I'm going to unplug that. Pull this off my adapter board. Drop this on my other adapter board. And load up the SD card. Let's try it out. Well, there you have it, 90-90. There must be some other short or something with these boards, or this board at least. I'll have to play with it and see what the hell I did wrong. Uh, I thought that was it, but I guess not. Another failure. This thing is uh, 0 for 2. It's kind of frustrating. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night.